Hello and welcome to the Velveteen Lounge Kitchen. I'm so glad that you could join us today because we're hopping into our new time machine and journeying back to 1962 and the brand new Penrose Room at the famed Broadmoor Hotel and Resort in Colorado Springs. Charming cocktails and deluxe dining wait for us at the base of Cheyenne Mountain. So let's grab a lovely libation for the road and blast off toward the past. A gorgeous mountain setting always puts me in the mood for whiskey. Here's one of my favorite variations on the classic whiskey sour, which will hold us until we reach our destination. All you do is combine two ounces of bourbon, one half ounce elderflower liqueur, one half ounce dry curacao, three quarters of an ounce fresh lime juice, and four dashes of celery bitters. Shake with ice and strain into a cocktail glass. I'm ready to fire up the VLK 950 and travel back in time. We've arrived in Colorado Springs, 1962. I'm starved and everything on the menu here at the Penrose Room looks delicious, but I have my heart set on the deviled crab meat imperial. Luckily, I just happen to have the recipe, thanks to Better Homes and Gardens, famous food from famous places, so I can make it anytime I like after I get back home. All you do is melt one quarter cup of butter in a medium hot skillet and add one quarter cup each minced green pepper, minced onion, and minced mushrooms and cook until tender. Blend in two tablespoons minced pimento, one tablespoon chopped shallots, and two tablespoons flour. Add two cups of light cream and simmer for five minutes, stirring constantly. Stir in one teaspoon salt, a dash of black pepper, one teaspoon monosodium glutamate, one half teaspoon dry mustard, one teaspoon Worcestershire sauce, two and a half cups light crab meat, and two cups of breadcrumbs. Form into eight balls. Roll balls in additional breadcrumbs, place in individual dishes, and bake at 350 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. Remove from oven, top each ball with about two tablespoons hollandaise sauce, and brown under the broiler for about one minute. I think I've died and gone to fine dining heaven. It's so much fun to travel back in time and thanks not only to the VLK 950, but to the many vintage cookbooks and bar guides available for pennies on the dollar, you can take a retro food voyage anytime you like. And if you find yourself in Colorado Springs, which happens to be my birthplace, you can still visit the lovely Broadmoor and even dine in the Penrose Room. Don't forget to journey to the top of Pike's Peak. Thank you for visiting the Velveteen Lounge Kitchen. Please subscribe to our channel for new episodes every Tuesday and Friday. It's always happy hour at the Velveteen Lounge Kitchen. See you soon.